Well, I think the most important thing, and, and this is uh, really kind of a central message in Proof of Heaven, uh, beyond uh, the fact that it uh, alerts the world that the scientific materialism of the 20th century uh, is absolutely um, full of smoke and mirrors when it comes to any kind of explanation of reality, when it denies the absolute reality of soul, spirit, consciousness at the core of all existence. And I think the most important aspect of that lesson, which is brought back by so many near-death experiencers and other spiritual journeyers who have had similar types of of kind of awakenings is that we are all eternal spiritual beings. And in fact, our very consciousness is a direct link to the infinitely loving creative source at the core of all being. And the reason that that unconditional love of that creator for the creation is so important is because that very unconditional love in its purest form, as so many who've had these experiences will tell you, is infinitely healing in its power. It's important for all of us to realize we're eternal spiritual beings, that we come back in multiple incarnations in our ascendance towards that oneness, and that we're all in this together. Consciousness binds us all, not just as humans, not just as all life on earth, but with all of conscious beings throughout the universe. And this is the biggest lesson, I believe, that is here for a reason at this point in time. And this is all about science and spirituality coming together. Because at the closer we get towards truth, and I will have to say that my journey showed me very clearly that human brain and mind will never have a theory of everything. We can never possibly understand the grand workings of this universe in its greatest sense, uh, the workings of that great creator. Never. And, uh, but the journey is absolutely wonderful beyond description, and that's what we are all part of. And we are all doing that as eternal spiritual beings that are bound together as one. And this is a lesson this world must learn now. And it's very consistent with the lessons of the prophets taught through the ages. Important for people to know that the any friction between uh, schools of religious thought, uh, friction between science, philosophy, and uh, religion and spirituality are false boundaries that have to do with that linguistic brain trying to define and to limit, whereas in fact we really have to take a top-down approach, and we can all do that by being conscious beings who explore deep into our consciousness through prayer and meditation.